Okay, so today I will be doing my review of the iBuffalo Classic USB Gamepad, as seen right here. Um, well, let me unravel this bad boy really quickly. Now, now, I I bought this not too long ago. It's actually, I'm not disappointed. I'll, I'll, let's just say I'm not disappointed, but it could, things could be a little bit better. So to get started, obviously it looks looks quite nice, uh, just like a, it's inspired by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System of the 90s, and this what I thought would be perfect for getting ROMs online, of games I already own, of course, um, just so it's a more convenient way to play it. But one big issue I do have with this system is a lot of popular ROM websites, such as MUParadise and CoolRoms.com have recently uh, had a lot of their old classic Nintendo ROMs taken down, so minus a few points for that, because it, it makes it makes this a lot less useful, because there's not that many games uh, left to play it with. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you could find a few, but it's just a lot of shady websites. So again, a little bit off my final score because of that. But another negative, not to only dwell on negatives, but the D-pad, um, it it works it works well enough, but there's these little these little divots, these little arrow divots inside of it that actually they they make my my thumb hurt after after just a few hours of play. So often what I find myself doing, and it's a little difficult to demonstrate, but what I find myself doing is I would I would be playing with it under my shirt like this on this half, which it, it makes it a little a little less uh, accurate, unfortunately, but it does save my thumb some of the some of the potential future scarring or scabbing or anything like that. Um, a few more features. This has uh, standard turbo, clear, start select. Obviously, turbo. Uh, I I didn't really get a chance to use it, but I'm I'm assuming it works just like turbo on any other classic controller or USB controller. So uh, no no commentary there, but probably pretty good. And uh, with these buttons here, I actually I actually found these buttons to be very good. They're responsive. They feel nice. And they remind me a little bit of uh, of Skittles, which is a pleasant nostalgic feeling. So plus one point for that, I suppose. Um, the shoulder buttons here, left and right, uh, not too bad. Um, feels good in my hands, honestly. Aside from aside from the D pad, as far as comfort goes, uh, pretty good. Now uh, it is USB uh, type, so be careful if you have maybe the new MacBook or something like that, because I know that, that takes uh, USB C only. I didn't. I don't think they make one. Uh, iBuffalo makes one for USB C yet, so you'll need to get um, a little conversion dongle or something for this. Uh, doesn't really concern me because I I have an Acer laptop. But yeah, uh, iBuffalo Classic USB Gamepad, uh, pretty good, I guess. Uh, the shipping didn't take too long. Only took about. Three, three to four days, which is actually quite quick considering I just put standard. I didn't pay extra um, on Amazon. So yeah, uh, give this a shot if you like old games and old controllers. Uh, a great part of uh, my newly budding collection. All right, great. See you tomorrow.